couple of days ago, I've ordered a Radio Master Pocket replacement antenna. Two, actually, just in case. I'm doing my Radio Master Boxer folding antenna mod. And for that, pocket antenna seemed like a perfect option. The only part that's not compatible with Boxer is this little swivel at the bottom. And that's why I've got this part 3D printed in PETG. Two slightly different versions. One with round base and another one with flat edges. I always like to give credits where credits are due. The one with round base was designed by Dano FPV and the other one by Biker Nickman. This is the non-compatible swivel part I was talking about. Time to disassemble my transmitter. Note that if you decide to do the same mod, you will void your transmitter warranty in case you still have it. First, I'm removing these rubbery grips simply by pulling them off. Next step is to remove these four screws. using 2mm hex to remove them. Disconnect your battery. Once you do that, back cover will be super easy to remove. Nothing else is holding you tight to the front cover. We can reinstall the battery compartment door. connection is actually accessible from here, but screws which hold this SMA connector are located at the bottom of this board, so we have to disassemble the whole thing. Important information is that I'm working with Boxer V2.0 main board. If yours is different version, your Boxer internals and layout might be different too. In order to remove this mainboard, I have to remove 8 Phillips screws. And for that, I will use Phillips screwdriver. Next step is to disconnect all the connectors and wires that are in the way gimbal connectors, switches and in my case LED connectors since I modded my controller with blue LED gimbal rings. They all need to be disconnected. forgot to remove the screw number 8. So I'm doing it now. Done. This part is tricky, but not impossible. Very carefully top plastic wall should be gently lifted a millimeter or two. And that will release the main board. Gently move these wires that are in the way. is free. These are the screws which hold the SMA connector mount. I need to remove them as well as SMA connector and the mount. Phillips screws again. SMA connector and the mount are free too. Well, almost. I need to remove this yellow stuff called antenna fixing glue. It holds
holds UFL connector in place and prevents it from accidentally detaching itself. Gently peel it off little by little. Don't force anything. That's done too. Pockets antenna comes with UFL connector, so we don't have to go through UFL to SMA adapter, avoiding additional joint. Swivel part can easily be removed by taking out this pin. I know, this is not perfect way of doing it, but it works. As I've mentioned it a few seconds ago, it works. Pin is out. I went with Bikerman's swivel part design. But later in this video, you'll notice I've replaced it with Dano FPV swivel. It worked better for me. Looks great. The only thing left is to install that pin inside. not to pinch antenna when installing this pin. I also like to use a little heat shrink tube at the spot where antenna will rub against the pin when swivel is being used. to go over it. When swivel is being used, we don't want to put any pressure or strain on that tiny cable. This is how it's supposed to look like at the end. Looks almost like it originally came like this. to the main board. Unfortunately, I don't have that antenna fixing glue at home. But here comes my little glue gun to the rescue. This should do it. Let's put this transmitter back in one piece again. Much easier to install the mainboard back if we remove plastic covers from the pots. Reconnecting all the connectors.
tucking those wires away. We don't want them to end up pinched by plastic covers. Double check everything one more time. Reinstalling those eight Phillips screws. Closing the case with the back cover. And I've got myself a boxer with folding antenna. Four hex screws back into the case. And reconnect the battery. earlier, I ended up removing the other swivel and installing the Dino FPV's design with round base instead. It simply worked better for me. Let's plug those grips back. Boxer folding antenna mod is completed. Quite happy with the final result. to check if everything works as it should. set up to read battery level on all my quads and LiPo is not connected at the moment. All switches work fine too. 